I'm the Goofy Wheelchair and welcome to the show again. Yes, welcome back to another exciting episode here on the Goofy Wheelchair Guru. As always, I'm his faithful assistant, a.k.a. Dad, and we're going to do part two of Japanese sodas. Right, Phil? Yep. Okay. So, I already took the little wrapper off, because you got to see that in part one of the video. And we tested, uh, what did we test? We did original, and we did melon flavor. Today, we're going to do strawberry and lychee nut. It's from the lychee nut. So, um, like I said, I already took that little piece off. This is the, on the top. You take that, you go like this, and you push that little thing out. Okay. Now, you take that, you put it on top. You see right there? That's a marble. You put this on it, hold it flat, and push. And look at that. Ooh, I can smell the strawberry. And if you look close, see the marble in there floating around? All right. So, let's take a sip of this one, see how it is. It's strawberry flavor. I'll tell you what, we really liked those ones yes, the other day. Tastes like strawberry? Tastes very good like strawberry? Should I take a sip? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a sip too. Mmm. Very good. And what's nice about these is, they're not overly sweet. Like, if you taste most American sodas... Like strawberry sodas, pineapple sodas, you know, you expect Pepsi's and Coca Cola's and those to be overly sweet. But almost any drink made in America now is really sweet because, well, sodas like this, pops, whatever you want to call it. But I'll tell you what, these are phenomenal. You know, we do have some more coming in. We ordered some sodas from other countries as well. So, that was strawberry. Let's put the straw down. Let's open up the other one. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. Because to be honest, have, we've never even tasted a lychee before. Yeah. So, our first time. So, we're uh, happy you're here joining in with burger. us to enjoy the excitement of a first time lychee experience. Yeah. There it is. Popped it down through. Again, marble floating around down in there. We'll take a little straw. I have no idea, so let's see. How is it, oh great guru? Good. Mm. Wow. I, I can't place the taste. It's very, it's very different from almost anything else I've had, and I really like it. You mm. like it? I really like this one. I think out of the four we've tried so far, I think this lychee one is the one I like the best. What about you? Yep. Is it the lychee? Because I know how much you like the melon one. Mm -hmm. Is it still lychee? It's still lychee. So definitely, we give these sodas a huge thumb up. We'll be doing a part three video with two more sodas because we have eight different Japanese ones. So we're going to do two in each video. But we get a strawberry and lychee. Huge thumbs up. These were probably the two best we've had out of the four. And we both really like the lychee. We've never had it before. It's... Mm. And what's nice is I found... I can just sip this. I don't want to guzzle it. You know, those ones, the American sodas, you, you guzzle them. I think it's the sugar, it's the addiction you have to the sugar. These, not as much sugar in them. A little bit better for you. I'll tell you what, they're only um, 6.76 fluid ounces, so smaller than most American sodas. Usually American sodas are, what, 12 to 16 ounces, sometimes up to 20 16 ounces. 16 ounces. You don't 20. need that. Right there. 6.76 ounces. That's what a normal drink should be. So, um, yeah, we highly recommend these. Carbonated Lemune drink. Get them from Japan. So, uh, check them out. Um, we'll, again, put the link in in the comments on this like we did with the last video and uh we want to say thanks everybody for tuning in we'll see you back for part three of japanese sodas here on the guru, guru. he's the guru i'm the faithful assistant thanks for tuning in